Book YouTube, Twitter, Fencer, Princer, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. It's your boy Tone 202. And this one is going out to uh, the veterans. Uh, once again, I am a veteran, and uh, I'm obviously a uh, African American, so called African American. But uh, I just want to talk about, uh, I've just been, you know, this whole Colin Kaepernick thing is still blowing up and it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. People uh, have reactions to it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> a lot of people on the media, a lot of mainstream uh, Caucasian people have been denouncing, you know, Colin Kaepernick as if, as if he cares. Go away, go away. Okay, okay. Uh, and some people have, you know, like Bill O'Reilly, <laughs> once calling to read his stupid book on patriotism. And it's just, <laughs> it's just corny. And then Roland Martin just eats him up because he talks about how the Civil War, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, Bill O'Reilly talks about how the Civil War was for black people. <laughs> and I, you know, I was just like, wait, what? Civil War was for black people? You know, what happened to Jim Crow laws and Emancipation Pro uh, Proclamation if we were free during those times? You know, this, you know, it, after the Civil War, I mean, what happened to the... You know, what about Selma in 68 where all the people were getting burned, beat up, beaten, bitten by dogs and raped? And what about the, uh, the four children who got bl blew up uh, in Chicago by move bombs? If we're free, then why did they blow those children up? There were four girls. Uh, just because the move people didn't want to associate uh, or have anything to do with the society of white people, the police, the police dropped, the police dropped move bombs on them. Literally bombs on a church i mean if we're freezing and he, and then he was talking about how the police barely kill a civilian i'm like i must have missed that memo because you know all over the i mean when you look all over the uh television you see uh okay i'm going inside when you look all over television you see people getting killed left and right you know, and I'm just wondering, what freedoms are these guys talking about? You know, yeah, I had to get away from that, dude. What freedoms are these people talking about? If we're still free, then why is all this stuff still happening to us? You know, why is the percentage of black men uh, in jail um, uh, so high in according to any other race. Uh, why is there more... Uh, why was there 1,200 people killed last year by the police and 900 of them were black people? Why isn't that even? I mean, why isn't it just as many black people or just as many white people or just as many Asian people? You know what I'm saying? Because they're not out here killing Asian people. They know better than that. They're not out here killing uh, people from India. Let's see, you know, when's the last time somebody from Asia got, got killed? I don't remember. You know, uh, nonetheless. So, but as far as the veterans is concerned, you know, the, the black veterans like myself, uh, when I went to war, <coughs> or not to war when I was in during the war. I was in from 87 to 91, and the war started in 91. I, I got out shortly after the war started, but I actually tried to go to war because my friend was going. But nonetheless, while I was in the military, did I experience some racism? Yes. Yes, yes I did. I experienced a lot of racism. As a matter of fact, that's the reason why I got out early. Is because they were harassing me so bad I had to get away from my captain. He was trying to put me into the jail that I worked for. Like they came after me with everything they had and I didn't do anything wrong. So it, it was, I mean, it was crazy. And in the military, if they come after you, you really don't have nowhere to run. So I got the hell out of there because they was trying to lock me up. As if I was some type of felon. And I'm in the military. I'm supposed to be a free black man. Oh, but no, see. Nope. 
If they don't, listen, it's a whole different party in the military when they come after you. When they start Article 15 in you, it's a whole different party. So is there racism? Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, there's racism in there now. You, you go in there, you better, listen, listen. There's a story of this black woman, black girl, I guess it was a year or so ago. Pretty black girl. She's over there in Iraq, supposed to be free, fighting for the freedoms of America. They raped this girl. And what they did to her was they raped her, uh, they gang raped her, they killed her, and then they cut her uterus out. So you couldn't find the evidence of semen. This is a black person fighting a white man's war and she's supposed to be free. We are not free. I don't even know if we're American. You know, you know when Donald Trump supporters were yelling, uh, uh, go home, telling black people to go home, as if we brought ourselves here, and we're, we're, we're in, in their definition of of American, when they were making statements, and they still make these statements, they don't look, listen, they don't think that I'm an American. They think somebody who uh, has done absolutely nothing for America, but they're white, is more American than me. I worked for the House of Representatives for a year, for four different reps. I'm a tax-paying citizen. I'm a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen in ex-military. How much more American do you, I was born in Ohio. How much more American do you want me to be? I'm just curious. What, what does a black person have to do to be American? Because, I, I, I mean, I don't think that in most white people's eyes, I just think that, listen, in most racist white people, I think there is nothing that we can do to convince them that black people are American. We can go, we can die, we can do whatever it, uh, whatever other uh, races in America do, and we will never, ever, ever be equal to a white person as far as being an American. It'll never happen. Listen, I don't, listen, I don't encourage anybody to go into the military anymore. I used to. Because I got to, you know, I went in there, I did my thing. I'm still benefiting from it, but don't go in there thinking that you're going to be a patriot. Because according to white people, you're just not American. We're something else. We're not American. We're born here, uh, you know, and, it, you know, we're, we're born and raised here. We fight for them. My father was in the military back when he was 21. My brothers, my sisters, they're military people. We have military all in our family. Been that way. But we are still second class citizens and we are not American. According to them. According to these racist white people, these Trump supporters, we're not American. It's going to get bad when Trump gets in office. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just wanted to get that out there. You can go to the military all you want. Black people, we've been fighting this white man's wars for the longest. They go to Middle East fight war. They go to Asia to fight war. They go to Germany to fight war. They go all all these places to fight wars, and none of them have anything to do with black people. Not one black person started those wars. Not one. Not one. There's not one black person that got up and said, you know what, we need to go to... Over here, boom, let's get these guys. We ain't start those wars. But they want us to die for the freedoms, but they don't want to deem us American. To hell with your national anthem. Straight up. That's just how I feel.